Uh, what's up? My name is Ned, Ned Jufemister Jr. They call me Ned. Uh, I'm a third base, second baseman at Greensboro College. Uh, I'm a junior in the classroom, sophomore in the field. It's a day in my life. What's up guys, I'm Hype and I'm here to bring you another giveaway on the channel that's only on this video. I made two custom bats out of Louisville Slugger wood with our logo on it and I'm here to give you one of these bats. All you have to do to win this bat is to subscribe to the channel, like this video, and comment down below. That's it. This giveaway is only for my US subscribers, it costs a lot of money to ship a bat. I just gave away the other custom bat on my Instagram page yesterday. So if you're not following me on Instagram, you should do it now because I do a lot of giveaways on my Instagram page as well. All right, so good luck and let's get back to the video. Um, I got into baseball around, let's say, eight years old. I played ball between eight and ten in Gresham Park uh, in Georgia. Played ball out there, and who influenced me was mainly uh, Chipper Jones for the Braves and my cousin uh, Marcus Mays. He played for the Florida Marlins around 98-99, a uh, year before they won the World Series. Um, he got me into it young. Uh, after I stopped playing around ten years old, I stopped playing the drums and got back into it around like eighth grade. I've been playing ever since. Uh, recruitment, uh, it was real long for me, real long. Out of high school, had some offers to Savannah State, uh, Clark Atlanta, um, who else I had? Morehouse, a lot of um, HBCU schools. I ended up wanting to go to Georgia State. I got an academic scholarship to go there, so I went there and I had a walk on for fall. I ended up playing fall ball there, but me and four other guys, we got cut. So that spring I trained and that summer, found the showcase team after that, went to Alvin Community College. I had to play it out there for a year. And then I came down here, played post-grad ball for uh, Coach Eden. And then I tried to walk on for UNCC. When that happened, the old coach, he got fired, he left. And I couldn't go there no more. He told me no walk on. So that summer, I played my heart out. And I talked to uh, Coach Booker here. I sent a video, talked to him. He told me, as um, long as you get to school, we have a spot for you, get scholarships, sign some papers. And we're going from there. Greatest strength besides playing ability, um, I'm gonna go with communication, uh, heart. Um, dedicated, I grind, I'm a grinder, I'm always working. Um, I feel like between me, anybody, any of my teammates, friends, whatever, when we playing ball, if anything negative happened, I'm there today, push through it. That's the past, that's work, got another opportunity another day. Um, physical on the field, I say good contact hitter, spread it, spread it fair real good. Um, and one of my weaknesses, I say I need to work on uh, 
Let's say off the field, let's say mental, to stand, to stand prepared for the day. Got to come out early, got to uh, work, come out early. I like to come to the field real early, get my mind right. Um, and physical weakness, uh, I say infield. I'm new to the infield, so I'm out here working, grinding, getting better. I used to be a catcher my whole entire life. I had turf toe, got injured, but I've been grinding ever since. Top three favorite. First, I'm gonna go with Ozzy Albies. <laughs> Everybody know. Um, second, I'm gonna go Manny Machado. I like Manny Machado. He's, he, yeah, he's cocky, whatever, but he can play his position. Um, last but not least, um, who, who started me off, Chipper Jones, big Braves fan. And uh, Chipper, uh, every time I see Chipper, I was like, whoa, that's what I wanna be like, so yeah. I just love to get to the field early, practice and game days, especially if it's home game days. Uh, I like to get to the field at least an hour or 30 minutes before the team get there. I stretch, I hit by my own, I hit by myself rather, and um, listen to music, get zoned in and get ready. When everybody else get there, I'm already locked in, ready to go. Um, uh, that's really mainly it, yeah. I say reach out, reach out to all the schools that you're interested in, and all the schools that you're not. Um, since uh, the pandemic was going on, a lot of schools wasn't recruiting, but since they're now looking for a lot of guys, I say reach out, reach out to all these schools, uh, do a lot of showcases, tell them as much as you can uh, to get your name out. Uh, network and meet a lot of people because every school is looking for somebody from NAIA all the way up to D1. So I say that, always grind and stay on top of the schoolwork. Um, even though you might not get a uh, athletic scholarship, academic scholarship, and believe in yourself, walk on, the rest is history.
Good. All right, what's up, man? I just got out here today, um, working out. Um, I got out here with Scratch. We're hitting the cages today. Got some T-work in. Uh, after that, we got some soft talks in, me and my boy Nick. Uh, after that, came onto the field, got some um, on-field live BP. Uh, felt pretty good today. The wind wasn't blowing, so hey, it is what it is. Uh, we ended up getting some defense work. I got some in 30 seconds. First, I got some uh, drills in with the pancake and the trainer glove. After that, I got my footwork in, um, going to first and second. Uh, did double play balls at third and double play balls at second. Um, yeah, and that's a day in the life of Ned. Thank you.